All right, have and have not fans. Now, I did see that a clip was released of tonight's episode, Sugar Mama, uh, last night on the Haves and Have Nots official Facebook page, uh, only about a minute long. And it's a scene that I've already kind of talked about in my episode breakdown for Sugar Mama, really just adding dialogue to the scene between Jim and Oscar. Uh, basically, the fact that Candace has the money. Jim is forcing Oscar to get it back, which he was going to do anyway. Oscar's like, I want to get it back, but he only has 24 hours. If not, then Jim is going to have Oscar and Candace killed. I really do like the fact that Oscar is like fighting Jim and it seems like, get your hands off me. It's like, don't let this demeanor fool you. And it's like, you have no idea what I'm capable of. Here's the part that really got me. Oscar's like, I, I, I'm on top of this. I'll handle it. And then he keeps saying that. And then Jim's like, you're not... You need to tell me how you're going to do it. Now, what got me about, and this isn't going to be a long video, but what really got me about it is the fact that of all people, Jim Cryer is the last person who should interrogate someone when they say they'll handle it and he wants to know what they're going to do. How many, he is the poster boy. Like if they're, if there's ever a t-shirt or a poster or a bumper sticker of the haves and the have nots and they put the quote, I'll handle it. There needs to be a picture of either David, Jim or both of them on the same product saying I'll handle it because that's their catchphrase. Go back and watch some of the early like season one, season two. That was their catchphrase. Take a shot anytime they said I'll handle it and you'd probably be drunk as a skunk for the next 72 hours. But not only that, what kills me is that Jim, how many times have like Catherine asked him, is like, what kind of plan do you got? Catherine, I'll handle it. He's never once told her what the plan was. If you want to look for a recent example, when he talks about getting the inheritance money back from Wyatt, even after he got the money, um, Catherine is like, how did you do it? Oh, don't worry. I have my way. Catherine, I have my way. She shouldn't underestimate me. So... He doesn't explain anything. I can understand why he wants to be kept in the loop because we're talking almost $10 million here. But at the same time, it's ridiculous. Or maybe you could say that, well, Jim maybe wants to know because remember, Oscar gets his money from this inheritance, meaning that Oscar doesn't get paid if he doesn't get the money back. Here's my problem with it. How come Jim is going to only give him 24 hours and then he's going to kill Oscar afterwards? That doesn't make a lot of sense because if you're depending on Oscar to get that money, 24 hours is definitely putting a fire under his butt. That way he doesn't sit around. But we know Oscar does the, doesn't do that at all. Um, even Oscar's like, I can't get it back within 24 hours. So Jim is like, if you don't, then I'm going to kill you and her. But that once again, it's like, what's the point of killing him if you need him to get the money back? I don't understand it. So I guess the video title is going to be, is, uh, is Jim going to kill Oscar this season or something like that? Because to be honest, I did that video a few weeks ago about you know oscar being killed off you know after he took that drink from candace to be honest i think his character should have ended right there i mean at first i didn't want to accept it but i feel like oscar's character was done with at that point he had no other reason to be around it would have been a great way for him to die and then you know candace covers up the murder and then jim would suspect that Oscar took the money and ran with it instead of give, giving the money to him. And I feel like he would be pissed off at David because, you know, that was David's right hand man and in, Intel guy. But to be honest, you really can't blame David for that because Jim hired Oscar to find Warlock for him first. The inheritance money was second. So, yeah, I, I feel like this is definitely dangerous territory because remember in my episode breakdown for or excuse me episode synopsis breakdown for smitten and um moles we know that benny is going to get arrested and then candace is going to try to make a quick buck with her old schemes to split town meaning that there's no way she's going to be able to get her millions of dollars back from benny because he's going to be arrested then she's probably going to try to con some people to make some money to get out of town because she's going to learn that because rocky snitched on her to oscar Oscar tells Jim that Candace took the money and then Jim is like, I want to kill this bitch if she doesn't get the money. If I don't get the oh, wait, I want to kill this bitch for taking the money and then I want to kill Oscar if he doesn't get it for me in 24 hours. So whew, this isn't this isn't going to look good for him. But also, I got a question here. If 
Jim is on bad terms with the Malones right now, then how is he going to hire somebody to kill Oscar? Like, I'm I'm sure he has his ways because remember that when it comes to Quita and her side of town, we know that Veronica was working with them. So it wouldn't surprise me if Jim has some other people on the streets that could take care of Oscar if the opportunity if the opportunity presented itself and he needed Oscar to be taken care of. So Oscar could be the next death this season, which to be honest, like I said before, it would have been better for his character if he would have died with the whole drug thing and the um, alcohol that Candace gave him. It, honestly, he's one of my favorite characters. I don't want to see him go, but to, I really don't think Oscar has a big role to play in the upcoming season. So, he might be the next one on the chopping block. I wonder how David's going to feel about that. Because remember, um, when Jim asked David, is Oscar a good resource? Because we need to find Warlock right away. And he's like, do you have anything on him? He's like, well, um, he just got off parole. so Or something like that. So basically, Jim was in a situation, if Oscar fails me, I want to send him back to jail. But now that there's almost eight nine million dollars on the line here, it's like, look, because you thought that you knew what you were doing because remember the crier company Oscar thought that was the account you know uh, Jim is like okay you're going to be dead this isn't jail you're going to be dead now the question is do you think that Jim's going to be able to pull it off and how do you think David's going to feel about it because without Oscar that's his big intel guy Oscar would have been the reason that he would have found out the truth about Erica but remember David was like you don't need to look into it my gut I got this I'll take care of it so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below uh, do you think Oscar is going to die in the upcoming episodes? Will Jim kill him off? Uh, do you think his character should stick around? And another thing is, we know that in this show, 24 hours could last like damn near 10 episodes. So, 24 hours, my God. Um, 24 hours. Okay, let's just theorize here. We got the 26. That's going to be one episode. Then we know for a fact we got at least two more episodes from july 3rd and attempt that's three we can estimate there's about three to six episodes left this season i doubt that we'll get to a 24-hour season within that mark so yeah let me know do you think oscar is the next death in this season of the haves and have nots subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i'll talk to you soon